Hey, what's up, guys? So, today I'm going to be reviewing the GFG Combat Machine Raider long version, tan version. <clears throat> so, first things first, these are my mags. Uh, I have a video, whatever, nobody cares. Okay, uh, so it also comes with rear iron sight, which I took off and I couldn't find, and whatever, I actually had a scope on it. Anyway, uh, so yeah, this gun is like. Uh, part of the combat machine line for G&G &G, which is like beginner advertised and stuff and uh, so Sorry for lighting is kind of bad. I'm outside. It's getting kind of dark So uh, yeah, so You know standard stuff. It's got really good plastics. It feels sturdy uh, Oh free <laughs> uh, Yeah, I don't really there's nothing really much else to say about it there's a lot of stuff to say. Okay, so it's got really sturdy plastics. The pretty sure this is five positions, but you really only get like three out of it, or maybe it's just my version because whenever I uh, push the stock all the way in, the battery there's not enough room in there, so I really only get one, two, three, three positions out of it. But you know, whatever, it's fine. I usually keep it on that position, anyways. Uh, you got metal charging handle, which actually doesn't do anything. The way you can open this is I can't do it right now because I just clipped my fingernails, but. You, uh, can just lift this up. There we go. See? Here's your hop-up. So, um, you got standard trigger, semi, safe, and auto. Uh, you got metal sling points right here, another metal sling point up here. Uh, the front iron sight and the barrel are all one, so you can't take the front iron sight off. Uh, it's got their special front rail that I really like. Uh, like everything else is pretty much standard, and then you have that nice front rail that they make that's really carved out and skeletonized. Pretty nice. Uh, pretty much it. Uh, the gun actually comes with a 450 round high cap magazine, but uh, I just wanted to use these. Even though they kind of have feeding problems with this gun, but all you have to do is just hold the mag forwards and it shoots fine so uh yeah that's pretty much it you got you know rail systems uh speaking of this no that wasn't my fault they actually sell like the, like chipped like that i don't know why i guess it's like a trademark or something but yeah i will so you got the logo here you know just everything warning label uh yeah so this gun comes with the magazine i was talking about it comes with a 8.4 volt battery Mine came with a 9.6 volt because I bought it special off of a website. Uh, you got, you know, a lot of things are metal that would normally be plastic on a gun. Uh, you have metal this, that's metal, this is metal. I don't... Uh, excuse me, I don't know what that is. Whole front end is metal except for the barrel or the muzzle. This is uh, metal, metal... Yeah, so anyway, this gun is really nice. It's got a metal gearbox, uh, version 2, I believe. It's got... What is it? It does, It has got the standard barrel. That it doesn't have tight bore like the Lancer Tactical sell with tight bore barrels and all that stuff. Uh, it's got pretty... It's got, you know, the motor inside the, the grip. It's got the ergonomic grip. Well, it's not really that ergonomic, but it's shaved down. Actually, it's widened. It's bigger than the standard ones. It's not got that groove right here. So, yeah. That's pretty much all i got to say about it. Uh, fits in most magazines. Uh, the only problem I've ever had was with D-Boys. They're metal mid-caps. Like, they're standard black metal mid-caps. They don't fit in there very well. They, like, kind of go in. But you have to really hit them hard. Because I'm going to show you something real quick. Uh, oh, we need an ammo. Anyway, uh, whenever you put them in there, as you can see right here, you see how that's sticking out a little bit? That means your mag's not in all the way, and you can bang those mags, and they stay like that, which means they won't feed. So you gotta hit them, like, so freaking hard, and then eventually they go flat. So, you can't just, like, boom, you're ready. You gotta be, like, and you gotta slam it, and it hurts, especially if you don't have gloves on. The corners of those mags, they, they're pointy, they hurt. But, uh... I tried putting tape on them, because sometimes they fall out since they don't latch, unless you bang them, and then I took, <laughs> and then I, uh, 
sorry, that was, it sounded weird. Um, and then I took the tape off and started hitting them really hard, and then I figured out I didn't need the tape, you just have to hit it hard. <sighs> so I just rambled on for a really long time, so now we're going to head to the shooting test. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that review. Uh, I gotta say, earlier today is when I recorded the CO2 pistol video, and I gotta say, the CO2 pistol, it's got nothing on this, obviously, but, like, that thing tore the box up. The CO2 pistol just left a few holes. Uh, so yeah, I hope this video helped you. Um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube for these guns. Uh, mostly for different models. I haven't seen too many on this, but there definitely are some. Uh, but I covered most of the things in this video that the people didn't cover in their video. Uh, so I hope this helped you out. I'm gonna eat some tactical gum, not gummies. Jelly beans. She's really good. Advertisement. Anyway, if you're wondering about the magazines, um, these are P mags. Uh, I can't remember, I think they're, like, second generation, oh man, these are sour. Oh. Anyway, I think these are, like, second generation, I'm not too sure. This one also had the, uh, little cover on it. While I was playing one day, it flew off and I couldn't find it, so. Yeah, these things are 120 rounds. No, wait, they're 90 rounds, even though they say 80. Uh. So yeah, bonus footage, now we're out. So yeah guys, if you enjoyed, drop a like, comment on this video, if you have any questions, uh, make sure you subscribe, this really helps me out. See you guys later.